What's up YouTube? My name is Clickwid and I am back again today bringing you guys a new video on a new game and uh, this is one that I am having an absolute blast with guys. Uh, the game is Battlefield Hardline and the demo came out a couple of days ago now uh, on PlayStation 4. That's where I've been playing it. I think it's also available on PC but man this game is an absolute blast. I never played Battlefield 4. Uh, I played Battlefield 2. I played Battlefield uh, Bad Company a little bit. But honestly, it has been a while since I've played a Battlefield game. And uh, I think the biggest reason for it is that I kind of let myself get into the hype of Call of Duty. And uh, although I still absolutely love Call of Duty, I don't want Call of Duty to be the only shooter game that I ever play because I kind of stopped playing Halo once I got into Call of Duty. I stopped playing really any other shooter game at all. But this one is an absolute blast. I'm having so much fun playing it. And what you guys are gonna be actually watching here is a game that I played with uh, iJoshify and Josh Norton 22 You guys probably know them if you're Madden YouTube uh, subscribers. And uh, each of them actually has a YouTube channel as well. We were playing with xryan915, but he dipped out just before this game so uh this is actually the first one that we played without him and i actually did pretty darn well in it so anyway though i want to talk a little bit about what it is about this game that i enjoy and i think it's the team aspect of it that is making it so much fun for me because the game is actually 16 versus 16 which is much bigger of course than you can do in any call of duty game but the way that you actually win on this demo at least and I don't know what the other game modes that they might have uh, Could be but in the demo what you do and you see me sprinting toward their vault right now So it says enemy vault Basically, there's a money pile in the middle of the map Which is where you saw a couple people dying and I, I think I died there earlier as well, but What you do is you take the money you you go up to that vault and you hold square on it on PlayStation 4 and what your guy will start to do is pull money out of the vault and he does it very very slowly unless there's quite a few of you and your teammates there then it goes a little bit faster but what you do is you pull the money out of that vault and you take it back to your vault the goal is to be the first team to get to five million total dollars in your vault and the only way to do that is to either take it from the money pile in the middle between the two vaults or you can actually go to the other team's vault as well and pull money from that. So it makes it really fun because there's the dynamic of the middle where everybody kind of converges. But then you also have to make sure that you're keeping in mind that people can steal things from your vault. And uh, you want to make sure, of course, that if they get close that you're pulling from their vault. It's really just a, a lot of fun, especially if you get a group of people. Now, you can actually do a squad of up to five, at least here in the demo, it's up to five, and I'm assuming that that's how it's going to be in the in the final game as well. But basically, you're going to see that when I die, I can actually spawn off of my teammates, which is not uncommon to a Battlefield game. But when you're doing like a game mode like this, it makes it extremely convenient because you can actually make it where... You know, I, I tell my teammate, just don't die, just don't die, just don't die. And they're standing right next to the opposing team's vault. And uh, then once I spawn, then we can actually pull out the money together and get back together. And, um, and you do it strategically, I think, a lot more than you do in Call of Duty, at least from a casual player standpoint. Obviously, there's extreme strategy that goes in when you're a professional team on call of duty and i'm sure uh e even though there probably won't be much of a competitive scene for this game you know there's going to be a lot better people as far as strategy than me and my friends here but we're having a lot of fun just working together and uh, trying to make sure that we get as much money as we can back to the other vaults this is actually the game mode called blood money by the way there's actually another game mode called heist uh, where you're either the cops or the robbers and you are in this as well But you're either the cops or the robbers in this heist game mode and if you're the cops you're trying to protect uh, These safes that get dropped at the beginning of the game And if you're the robbers you're trying to take the money from those safes and bring it back to your safe point Essentially and if you do that then you're victorious So it's a different type of game mode, but really the same kind of concepts for the most part where you're just trying to get money back to a safe spot. 
Now, for those of you who've been playing Battlefield for years and years, you're probably thinking while you're watching me play this, you suck, and I absolutely do. I'm not trying to say that I'm good at this game. This is one of the better games that I had, but I'm definitely not saying that I'm good at the game. So please don't take it for that. I just wanna show you guys some gameplay footage for those of you who haven't seen it yet. I, I mean, seriously, I'm really considering getting this game. I'm really surprised at how fluid this game is. There aren't any things that I look at it and I go, they need to fix that before that the real game comes out because it's broken or, you know, things like that that we get in a lot of the alphas and the betas and things like that that we see online. This game doesn't have any of that stuff. Everything seems to work really well. And I, of course, I've heard that that's probably because this game is very similar to Battle Battlefield 4. And I, I can't verify that or say, it, you know, whether it is or isn't true. But if it even if it is true, and this is just kind of a uh, an already made game, I'm having so much fun playing this game that I just don't even really care. I, I If it's easily done by the developers and they make a game that's fun, I have no problem with it. And really, truly, I'm having a ton of fun playing this game. There just aren't that many games that come out where I'm really having fun playing a demo. I recently put out a video where I was complaining about the UFC, EA UFC game that has recently come out on beta as well. And I'm just not having any fun playing that. Uh, granted, you can only play against the computer, which sucks, of course, but it's just baffling to me because EA is producing this game as well. And of course, it's completely different developers. I understand that. But the company EA is still the ones that are putting out both this game and EA UFC. And I can't believe that the aspects that you have in this game in comparison to what you can do in the UFC game. Again, completely different games. The maximum amount of people that you can have in a head-to-head -head game, I understand, is two on a UFC game versus 32 in this game. But look, all that I want to be able to do in that game is play a head-to-head -head game against somebody. I want to be able to fight somebody in an online match. And I can't do that. It's stupid. I, I just don't understand why they would make it so that you can only play against the computer in the demo. It, it's, or if, I guess if you're, if you have someone at your house, you can play it against them. But it, it's just so dumb that they would do that. And then they go as far as to basically give you a fully functional game. Seriously, if this was it, if this was all that we could do in this game, I might consider still buying this game. I might seriously consider it if this was all that there is. But I know there's going to be more maps, there's going to be more game modes, there's going to be, I'm sure, DLC and things like that. So, man, this this is seriously looking like the kind of game that I might purchase. Which, I never really thought that I would buy another Battlefield game. Because I just, I, I enjoyed the old Battlefield games, but to me they were just never as fun as the Call of Duty games. In this one, although I do have those moments where I get a little bit frustrated... They don't seem to be anywhere near as common as they are on the Call of Duty series. And, you know, again, I don't mean to directly compare the two, but, you know, of course, there's always going to be that comparison between the two shooter games. So, you know, it is what it is on that. But check out some of the stuff that you can do in this game. I don't know if you've seen the cars rolling around and the motorcycles and the armored trucks and things like that. But it, it just makes for such a cool dynamic because there's so much strategy that goes into using the right vehicle for the job. You know, taking a motorcycle, you're going to get across the, the screen faster. You're going to go from your vault to the enemy's vault much faster. But you're open. Like right now, I could easily get shot down. But if I'm playing with a teammate that knows how to drive, I can be shooting off of the back of it while he's driving. And then we can both hop in here like me and Josh are here. And we're both going to run here into their vault. We're going to try and steal money out of the back. So if you look here, we're actually up 2.7 million to 1.7 million. And we're each pulling out cash here out of their vault. Trying to get as much as we can before the shit hits the fan and they get back here into their base. <laughs> as you actually see Josh die there. I actually have another teammate here that was taking money. Now when Josh died, watch what I do here. Because I run to the back. And essentially what I'm trying to do here is make it so that Josh can spawn on me. And as you see him do it there, squad spawn on you, I get a little perk there, a little bonus. It, basically, it's strategic. Again, it's very strategic. I didn't take the 500k because I didn't know exactly what would be happening. 
And uh, as you can see here, my teammates cleared out some of their teams, so they actually dropped money there. And now we're going to take this motorcycle back all the way to our base and deposit a ton of money as they're rolling in trying to defend their base. We just fly right past them on this motorcycle. And that's going to be a huge swing because I'm carrying 500000 I think my teammate was carrying 500000 as well. And we're both going to bring back a decent chunk of cash here. So anyway, that's about going to do it for this video anyway. I don't know what you guys, what do you guys think about this demo? Have you guys played it on PlayStation 4? Are you having any fun playing it? Because like I said, I, I haven't had this much playing fun playing a demo. I can't think of a single time ever, seriously, that I've ever had this much fun playing a demo. So if you guys haven't tried it out, if you have access to it, I would highly, highly recommend it because it's an absolute blast. I know you guys are going to have so much fun if you play with teammates that actually know what you're, they're doing. If you have friends that are going to go for the objective and are decent enough to get some kills. And uh, they're not just absolutely terrible. Now watch me beast this guy here. <laughs> this is epic. So what happens is that you can actually get this little perk that makes it so that you look like you're dead and you're actually not dead. You can revive yourself just once. They thought that I was dead. I kill three of them here. Another guy comes rolling in. I kill him. Now I'm carrying exactly $400,000. Look how much we need to win. I'm going to haul ass back to my base. Going to try and deposit this as quickly as possible. Normally I would take a vehicle, but there really wasn't one that looked like it was going to be easily accessible for me. So I just wanted to get back here as quickly as I could. I took a flank route, go back this direction, and there's really nobody here to defend it. You see one guy there bringing back 100k that somebody else had dropped, and that ends the game for us. We do walk away with a win in this one. I did pretty well at 14-4. and four. I had a lot of fun playing this game. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you leave a like. Don't forget to comment and let me know what you guys think of this demo. Let me know if you guys want to see more content as well. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.